Hey, what's up everybody? Michael the Ark here. Today we're back out here again with another weapon guide or a weapon episode and this is the 338, the Range Master 338. This is the biggest gun in the base game. It is a break action gun and I'll show you what I mean. It is a single shot and it breaks you basically break barrel it and then put your your ammo back in it now we're going to actually go ahead and look at what this uh gun has going on for it so there are two versions of the 338 <clears throat> one is in the base game and one is a special skin which comes with uh, Parquet Fernando. You, for the base game one, you must have a rifle score of 4,336 to be able to purchase it <clears throat> for 60,000 credits. For the championship version, which in my opinion looks much better, you actually need to complete the Parque Fernando Challenge Circle Quest. And this is a great way to get a good gun for free. Uh, if you do not have access to the 300 and you do have Parque Fernando, but you don't have the money for a 338, absolutely go do the Challenge Circle Quest and you will finish up easily i have a guide on it uh, if you ever need it just let me know i might link it in the description as well but uh, if you use this guide it tells exactly where all of the uh the coordinates are and where to look and everything so just feel free to do that uh the range master 338 though weighs five units so it is a beefy boy uh and if you look here this one actually does not have the information on it so i've never noticed that that it doesn't have that information i don't know if it's supposed to be different or not but this gun has an accuracy of 33 recoil 100 reload speed of 81 and hip shot of 29 now, uh, this also has two ammo, and the first ammo is, now, even if you unlock, okay, say you unlock the championship version, you cannot buy the ammo for it until you have a rifle score of 4,336 for the soft point bullets, which costs 790 credits for 10. The polymer tip bullets unlock at rifle score 5,406, and you are going to get 10 of them for 1,050 credits. They are expensive. They're a lot more expensive in the long run than the 300. The 300 overall, in my opinion, is a much better rifle. Uh, they perform almost about the same except for the 300 is a lot more accurate at long ranges so with the uh, soft points you're going to get a penetration of 22 and an expansion of 68 uh, the classes for this gun are seven to nine and then with the polymer tip bullets you're going to get a penetration of 45 and an expansion of 16 and also the ammo is for class 9 or 7 to 9. Uh, it is... I went the wrong way. <laughs> it is compatible with the Argus, the Ascent, the Gen Zero, the Hyperion, the True Vision Model R338, and the red raptor now let's run over here and let's give it a go we're going to set it up for 82 yard zeroing at 50 meters 
and it's pretty much dead on with the standard. Pretty much dead on with the regular. So we're going to go on and throw the ascent on and it is dead on with that again sorry for the bright green but to show it is dead on with the gen zero as well we will be switching out to the hyperion and the argus now and we're going to go ahead and move this up to 150 meters the Hyperion is going to perform just fine at that range. It's exactly where I had it. The Argus. Exactly where I put it. So we're going to go ahead and move it up to the 300 meters. And... Zero in for 328 yards. Now, once you start getting long ranges like this, this weapon in my opinion has a little bit more drop. And it's much harder to stabilize, and I don't understand why that is. I feel like I was a little bit up from that. So it seems to have just a tiny bit of drop at the 300 meters, 328. Although, it's not enough that it's going to make a difference. We'll see if we can't make a perfect shot, though. That's good enough. So, this gun is very good. It is very powerful. We're going to go for the 350 meters, and that, I believe, is 360. 70 some yards away 374 something uh it might i'm not sure so we're going to hold just a little bit high about the top about the top of the black i would say Uh, maybe mid waves down the black then let's see there we go so that was about line eight yeah about at the, the top of line eight is about where I shot for that so maybe on in the middle of line eight would be where you would actually want to uh, I just, I can't hold it still, though, for it. It's such a heavy weapon. And if you don't know, the heavier the weapon, the more it wobbles. So a weapon that weighs five pounds or five units of weight is going to wobble a lot more than the smaller stuff. So in all honesty, if you're using, say, the Argus, you're going to get way too much shake with it. And that was dead on now. Okay. So that's with the Hyperion. And it might be worth it to use the Hyperion with this gun because there is so much wobble with the Argus. To, just to be honest, I think... I feel like there's just too much wobble with the Argus for this gun at long ranges. Although it is dead on at 
the 300 meters, 328 yards. But that is the 338, and this is the last uh, requested weapon for this series. Uh, if you have any other weapons that y'all want to see information on, please let me know. I think there's a few other rifles I could do. Uh, but anyway, that is all for now, and I will see y'all next time.